Hey! So today I'm going to be doing a video, but first look at this shirt I just got. Star Trek, and then it has all of the ships and stuff. Anyway, I'm really excited about it. I got it from Forever 21, and I just got the mail, and I'm wearing it because I'm in love with it. video that I'm about to do. It's uh, kind of a two-part video because I feel like both of these two separate things are too small to do separate videos so I'm just kind of pushing them together even though they aren't all that similar. Those two things that I'm doing, uh, one is a book haul but it's an ebook haul. I have three new ebooks which is why I felt like it was a little too small to do a whole video around. And then I'm also uh, doing a video of the books that I'm bringing with me to college because I'm moving back to the dorms next week. Again, I'm only bringing three books with me, um, and I feel like that's too small to do an entire video of, so I'm pushing these two things together, and this is going to be a video. Anyway, I'm going to start with the books I'm bringing to college. The first book I'm bringing with me to college is The Da Vinci Code. Who is this even by? Dan Brown. I have not read this. I was supposed to read it last year at school because my friend loaned it to me. Didn't read it. She said I could bring it home for the summer and read it over the summer. Haven't read it yet. So I'm bringing it back to school. Hopefully I'll read it there. She's my roommate next year. So, I mean, it'll be in the room. So hopefully I'll actually get around to this. Maybe. But I'm bringing it back half to give to her and half for incentive for me to actually read this. Because I've heard it's great. She loves it. And she told me to read it. So I haven't. But I will, maybe. Second book I'm bringing with me is 1984 by George Orwell. I really want to read this. I just haven't had a lot of time this summer. Um, as you could probably tell by my wrap-ups, they have been pitiful. Anyway, I just have really been wanting to read this for a while, and I'm like, I'm just gonna bring it, because who knows, I might actually have time, probably not, but I might, and I might read it, so there you go. I'm also bringing Ghost at a Watchman by Harper Lee. I still need to get to this one. I bought this back in July. It was in my unboxing video. I'm really excited about it. I just have to actually just sit down and read it. I am going to read this, which is why I'm bringing it with me to school. Anything I leave here, I won't get to till next summer, let's be honest. So, yeah. Okay, so the first book I got on my Kindle haul is called Steel Lily by Megan Curd. And, um, like most of the books, actually like all of the books I get on my Kindle, they are free. <laughs> so it was like in the free download things on Amazon, and I saw it, and I thought it was pretty. From the synopsis, I got that basically it's set in a dystopian world. Um, uh, main character is a young girl, and basically there are, like, society has been set up in these domes because I think the air quality is just really terrible and you can't really live outside. And therefore, because of this sort of apocalyptic thing that's happened, people are sort of reversed back to, like, class systems. And so there's, like, this tension and stuff. I'm not really sure what the main- I mean, the, the synopsis was a little vague. And also, um... I kind of just got it because of the cover. But Dystopian is fun and this looks really good and I read like the first few um, like paragraphs just and the writing seems very well written I guess. So yeah I'm excited about this. Next I got Queen of Sunday by Sherry D. Ficklin. Um, gosh this is a gorgeous cover but it's not showing up. Oh there you can kind of see it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Again cover by. I'm, I'm kind of bad. At that. I, I just, I buy things because they're pretty, which, I mean, okay, a lot of people do this. I shouldn't feel bad about this. Anyway, this is a little bit different from what I normally read. Um, it's very fantasy-like and sort of queen and political-ish. That's, that's not, I'm not very, um, I don't know, it's not necessarily something I gravitate towards, but sometimes I'm really interested in it because it is very different and I'm, it's unusual. So I'm excited about this. The main character, I believe, she, um, what is it? She's the rightful heir to, like, this empire, like, she's supposed to be empress or something. But something's going wrong and other people are taking, I don't know. But she has to fight for her crown, basically, which is really interesting. So it's not just, like, a princess who has a prince save her. It sounds like she's actually going to be doing some kick-assy stuff, which will be fun to read about. Also, the publisher is very interesting. Um, the publisher of this is called Clean Teen Reads, I think. Which I really like because I remember, and not so much now, I mean still now, but I remember as a young teen I had a, such a hard time finding books that I felt were appropriate and that I wanted to read. I mean I didn't really want to be reading about sex and gore as a 14 year old. And these books are very, um, like censored I guess, but not just that, but like, um, rated. So they have ratings as to what is in each book and, um, depending on what you're comfortable reading, which I think is a really good idea, especially for young kids and teenagers 
because I was reading young adult as a fourth grader and there were some things that I shouldn't have picked up as a fourth grader because they were written for older teens and so I really like that so I wanted to support the publisher and um, buy out one of their books and maybe buy more. So that's another thing I just wanted to mention. And the last book I got, which I am super excited about, is Ignite by Erica Crouch. Look at that cover, isn't that cool? Erica Crouch is one of the authors from Patchwork Press, which is a publisher that I used to publish Puppet. I've talked with her a little bit and um, talked about our books and stuff and I've been wanting to read those for a long time. It's really cool sounding. It's, again, different from what I normally read. It's paranormal romance, which I just never have, I don't know if I've well, I have read some paranormal romance, but I'm excited because I don't read a lot of them and this will be fun. But it's, what's, what's the main character? Pen? The main character is Pen. And she is like a fallen angel, so I guess she's a demon now. She works for like hell basically and like recruits like souls and stuff and it's like super creepy. But then there's also, she begins to question kind of whether what she's doing is right or wrong which I think is really interesting because there's a lot of like angel and demon stories out there but not a lot I feel like where the main thing is them questioning morals because I don't know I guess the morals are already so obvious but it's just interesting and I'm really excited especially because it's written by Erica and I've been really wanting to read one of her books for a while I'm actually I started it I'm on chapter two and so far it's really good she has an amazing writing style you guys so you should actually go get this because it's free yeah it, I just got it so it's free you should you should go get it Okay, that was my random video of books I'm reading to college and an ebook haul. Let me know if you've read any of these or are going to or want to or just your thoughts. Also, the three books that I mentioned were all free downloads, so they are free on Amazon. If they interest you, you should go ahead and download them. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, you should subscribe because I have more videos like this one. I'm also on Twitter where I tweet about books. And I have a blog where I talk about author things because I'm also an author. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!